Every morning I wake up at about 8.15 and the first thing I do is walk my dog Scout. Now I do this for about 5 to 10 minutes usually and he's usually pretty excited. So after walking him it's time to go back home and feed him and also he has certain medicine that he has to take so I give him that as well at about 8.45. <laughs> The next thing I do is eat breakfast. This usually consists of me eating a bowl of cereal and my favorite cereal is Magic Spoon. Once I'm done eating, then it's time to start working on YouTube. This is the first thing I get done as it pertains to work in the morning. And usually what I do during this time is I just work for about 45 minutes to an hour and I'm usually just finishing up anything that I didn't get done the night before or the day before and getting my video ready to upload by 10 or 11 o'clock and so this might be getting a thumbnail ready or actually taking the thumbnail picture or if I was able to get all that done the day before then I start working on my next video and just get a nice head start. After that at 10 o'clock I start getting ready for the gym. This usually takes me 10 to 15 minutes get my gym stuff on. I take my creatine get my gym bag together and then I'm ready to go. But I also have to make sure I have my stuff for when I start dashing because I don't head home after the gym. I just go straight from the gym to door dashing. Oh, well we just got done at the gym. Now it's time to turn on the dash and Grubhub and see how much money we can make. I usually try and make about $100 before I take my break at around three o'clock. It's 11.15 right now. We went a little bit long at the gym, but I think we can still hit $100. Let's get going. Almost forgot, before we get going on the dash, gotta get my protein shake ready. I sometimes do buy one, but recently I've been loving this kind. It's called Fruity Cereal Whey Protein. Just absolutely delicious. It's from Steve Cook's brand. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but it is the best protein I've ever had. It literally tastes like the milk after you've eaten a bowl of Fruity Pebbles. So I mean, what more could you ask for? Ah, delicious. Looks like we already got our first order and DoorDash is being nice to me so far. $16, 6.5 miles. There is eight items at this Walgreens. They don't seem like too hard of items. It's all just kind of medicine and drinks. So that's not gonna be too hard at all. Just had a DoorDash pickup for Jackson. We're about two hours of the way through this shift and surprisingly have not done a single Grubhub order. We still made about $59, which is really good from just using DoorDash. So I got about another hour and a half to two hours that I'm gonna take my break and hopefully things continue and maybe I can get some Grubhub orders along the way to help boost up that hourly average because we still got a long way to go. six pizzas and they tip three dollars wow and the drop-off is at an elementary school i'm sure this is for like 20 teachers or something some class party or something i don't even know but each person couldn't chip in a dollar come on six pizzas three dollars this is a joke First stretch of this shift, we got two orders to close it out with. We finally got our first Grubhub. I was actually good enough to accept. And then we're pairing it with this one from DoorDash to Chick-fil-A. Let's go get them done. So after I eat lunch, this is the main time of day that I work on YouTube. Usually for about an hour and a half to two hours every single day, I try and get as much work done as I possibly can. Sometimes if I have a lot of editing to do, then I do go three hours, sometimes four, just depending on what video I'm working on or 
what needs to get done, what I didn't get done in the morning or what I didn't get done the night before or just different stuff like that. And speaking of working on YouTube, which is now about 50% of all my income, I wanna mention the sponsor of this video, Social Blue Book, which is a great tool for any creators out there or for someone who's just trying to get started. Maybe you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel after watching this, you see how much income it can generate in the long run and you're like, maybe I wanna do something like that. This is a great tool for new creators and even down the road, even people with a million subscribers can still use this to their advantage. So the number one thing I like about them is their media kit and the way you can see all your analytics. So the media kit comes in handy when you're looking to start doing brand deals with people. So you guys can see right here, it shows how much I should be telling these different brands who reach out to me how much I should be getting paid because a lot of creators when you're starting out you think as a small channel you can't really get brand deals no one really cares but it's actually really easy if you're in a very niche topic on YouTube to get brand deals and so this helps you figure out how much you should be charging because no one ever really says like oh this is how much brand deals are willing to pay certain creators with 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 or 20 or whatever. So this is the best tool and I've used it on all of my brand deals. And so a dedicated video, it says $715 is a good average. It also shows you the low and the high. Like if they just want you to mention and do like a product placement, how much you can charge the low and the high as well. And then also if you just want like simply a mention and nothing else, then it shows you how much you should charge based on your subscribers, based on your views per video, and all that good stuff. So they got some great stuff, especially if you're looking to start a YouTube channel to start generating some more income. This is a great tool. They also have other creator resources like a Discord community, creator coaching, partners. They also have some different videos that I've watched on here as well, which are really helpful. Like even just right here, you can see how to use valuations and just different stuff like that. They just give you a helping hand when it comes to starting your channel and growing your channel. So I think it's a great tool. If you're interested in that at all, you can use the link down below in the description I have for you or the link will be right here as well. And anyways, yeah, that's basically what I do from about 3.30 to around five o'clock every single day. Well, we're back from the break now and we went longer than expected, but that happens sometimes because I never know how long of editing I'm gonna do or anything like that. I don't know how long I'm gonna eat lunch. I don't know. Like, so that definitely varies depending on the day, but I usually try and get out by 4.30. It's five o'clock now, so that's okay. We might just have to go like a half hour later. So we made $102 during that first part of the day. And I usually try and make about 125 to $150 at night. So it's five o'clock right now. Let's see what happens. Thank you. Next up, we got this order from Grubhub, $9, seven miles. That's actually a little less because it's on the way from the drop off of the last DoorDash order I just did. So not too bad. These hidden tips, guys, holy crap, back to back, huge hidden tips in these. I mean, I'm not complaining. So next up, we got this order to Little Caesars. It's not the best but we're getting into the eight o'clock hour now, so things tend to slow down. You don't get as big of orders. So I accepted it. We're still doing pretty great for the day, for the night. We only got about an hour, hour and a half left. So let's make the most of it and keep making money. So yeah, that is basically what I do every day. Once I get home from about 9.30 to midnight, I just chill, hang out with my wife, and usually play with Scout, take him on another walk, and just hang out, like I said, until midnight. And then I go to bed, do it all over again. And so from DoorDash, I ended up making $200.95. And from Grubhub, I made $30. So, so that's $231 in total from that. And then from YouTube, I made $284.93. 
So in total for the day, I made $515 from everything. So that's about an 11 hour work day and it's about 12 to 13 hours with that half hour to an hour break that I take in between there. So it's, it's basically a full day. I mean, it takes this to make $500 every day for me. And so I do this about six, sometimes seven days a week. And that's just how I am. I like to grind it out. I like to make as much money as possible, but it is important to take days off. And I did wanna say that $284 I made from YouTube, it does go up and down. Same with my dashing income. So it's not $500 every day. It does vary quite a bit, depending on how many views I get per day. I just wanted to say that it has definitely not always been like this. I've been working on this channel for over a year and a half now, and I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am without you guys. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. If you want to start your own channel and start adding to your streams of income, make sure you check out Social Blue Book. And I'll see you guys next time.